Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading for October, the new moon, which is happening in Libra, the sign of Libra. This is a reading for Taurus using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. Call upon the energies of Venus, ruler of Taurus, to give us information at this time. Tell us the secrets we need to know. Call upon the energies of Venus, those of love, harmony, beauty, all the fine things of life, food, real estate, the earthy abundance that is Taurus. Call upon you to tell us what secrets we need to know at this time, O oh, forces of the universe. Okay. And what is the secret meaning of this reading? It is the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords means a painful time emotionally, um, a difficult time. Uh, However, difficult times and painful times are needed sometimes for our personal growth. Um, no matter how hard they may be. So, this is all about a difficult time which Taurus is going through at this moment. That is the overall. So, if you say, what me worry? What difficulties? Then you should keep an eye out. Ah, this is you right now, the Eight of Coins. This is someone who is a craftsperson, who is a master of their trade, someone who has worked hard and earned accordingly for their work. Now, the Ten of Swords, we're going to redress that. And while it signals a concern about ruin, pain, affliction, anguish, desolation, misfortune, and disappointment, we do have this Eight of Coins here, someone who is definitely a master of their field. Um, someone who is in charge of their work, their lives. It could also mean a quickness to learn. So you recently picked up a new skill a new class, return to school, um, or you are training a young candidate for something. It also speaks of candor, modesty, as well as handiwork and personal effort. So you are taking great pride in this work, in this learning, in this progress, um, and you most likely have gained some new tricks to shorten your workload. So what is crossing you? What is the issue? The Eight of Clubs. Things are coming at you fast and furious at this time, Taurus. Um, so this speaks of something swiftly advancing towards you. It is uh, sudden progress or movement. Hastily made decisions are too rapid of an advancement. 
So, um, if you've recently taken on a new challenge, you may want to redress it at this time, take a step back, um, see if you can mediate um, a little bit between not doing anything and doing too much. Just moderation is key here in terms of activity, <clears throat> not diving in the deep end. So in your headspace, we have the Six of Clubs. That is a king on the move, a warrior on the move, and he's got backup. So this is all about um, activity uh, and having some choices in your head rolling around. Six are always uh, a time of, of contemplation, of consideration. So, it also means that right now there is great conquest, some triumph, some good news, some advancement. You are expecting good things to happen and your desires are realized through others at this time, Taurus. So, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. So, in the distant past, we have the hanged man. You, This is obviously a time of advancement that you have waited for. In your distant past, you had to wait a long time and show some of that Taurus patience that is so famous. Steadfastness. And with the Hanging Man, it is all about life in suspension, transition, change, reversal of the mind, and in one's way of life. Apathy and dullness, abandonment, renunciation, the change of life's forces, the period of respite between significant events, sacrifice, repentance, and readjustment. So you've, you've gone through those sorts of hurdles in the past. And then recent past, you've had the devil, an amount of control or um, an addiction to something that might not be good for you. Uh, these people who are chained to the devil, who is represented by Stalin in this deck, uh, they are easily able to take off their chains if they only saw how they are fastened for themselves. So this is all about ravage, bondage, malevolence, subservience, downfall, weird experience, bad outside influence or advice, some black magic, possibly, unexpected failure, inability to realize goals, violence, shock, fatality, self-punishment, temptation, uh, to evil, and self-destruction. So I would take this to mean that in order to get out of uh, a standstill type situation, a stagnant situation, you had to um, assume a job where servitude was really important, uh, or you had to eat uh, some crow in order to make sure that you were all right, that you were well uh, protected. Um, and that seems to have worked for you because you are now this apprentice who has uh, worked hard for what they have. So in your future influence, your hopes, dreams, wishes, as well as future influences, we have the Seven of Swords. This is a soldier kneeling on the battlefield to pick up uh, weapons which were discarded. So. It is a, a thrifty soldier, someone who knows his way, uh, that he is going to need those swords. He knows his way around the battlefield. He knows that he is going to um, have another battle to fight, all of those things. So this is all about new plans, wishes, fortitude, perseverance, endeavor, hope, confidence, fantasy, partial success. 
and you can probably hear that the neighborhood dogs are barking up a storm. So I would say that this is this is definitely a key to your partial success right here, Taurus. Um, that you have some new plans on the horizon and you should definitely work your way towards those. Once again, we have uh, an echo of the Eight of Clubs though, that that these plans, it would be great if they worked 100%, but even if they work like 75%, you're still doing really well. So um, just keep in mind that that this might not be the best time to go for the gusto entirely, to risk too much. Try to keep on your steady footing, Taurus. So at your base right now, the way others influence you, the way you influence others, also can mean partnerships, relationships, rapport with others. Um, this is a time of Libra, so this particular seventh spot is very important. Um, this is about commitment levels, harmony, balance, fairness. Uh, it can also symbolize influences on current events by other people. So um, it is also about uh, your interests uh, and <clears throat> raising the auric vibrations. So five of cups, you're feeling some sadness now. This is a man who has very many cups, but he is neglecting the one he has in his hands for the ones that are overturned. And he's very sad. Um, so the Five of Cups is about emotion. It is about feeling very emotive at this time about others, about not only partnerships, but also current events. These things are ma making you sad or conflicted in some way. Um, and with the Five of Cups, it is achievement, but it is not total achievement. It is a partial loss, regret, fear, friendship without real meaning, marriage without real love, inheritance, and incomplete union or a partnership. So this is all about you're not feeling that others really get you. You're not feeling like things are reciprocal as they should be. Um, and this is hurting you, um, hurting your feelings, Taurus. So let's see what we can do about it. In the environment right now, we have the chariot. And this is advancement um, into the unknown. It is all about... Um, Adversity, possibly already overcome. Pardon me. Uh, adversity, possibly already overcome. It is uh, all about uh, conflicting influences, turmoil, vengeance, success, possibly a voyage or a journey, an escape, rushing to a decision, need to pay attention to details, urgency to gain control over one's emotions. Mm. So, uh, if you made a sudden rash decision, you may want to rethink it. This may be a problem that may be going on a vacation or a retreat of some kind. Um, some amount of solitude, just getting away for a long walk. These things uh, might give you the, the air to really think about what's going on and make some, some better plans. Make some better plans for the future. So, uh, let's see. Other things we've got going on. The Ace of Swords. That is in your inner emotions right now. It's also a spot that can assist with uh, higher education. can also signify long distance travel. It can also signify 
ideals, philosophies, goals, dreams, challenges, spiritual questioning, uh, even expatriate travel. Uh, it is all about vocations and sports and about the body as a master of mystery. So, Ace of Swords. It is all about beginnings, intellectual beginnings, um, air sign type beginnings. So possibly going and traveling to learn something new or taking a class in a foreign destination. These are all things that would really help right now. Even if you're not able to do that, maybe getting away and just researching and throwing yourself full tilt boogie into a new line of inquiry about where you might want to go when you have a chance. That might be good enough here. Um, so for Ace of Swords, there is great determination, initiative, strength, force, activity, excessiveness, triumph, power, success, fertility, prosperity, and deep emotional feeling, love, championship, conquest. You, you are feeling like you've got a lot going for you right now uh, in other ways. And others might be sad um, at this time, but you are feeling on top of your game. Uh, this is also echoing, however, this whole uh, things might be too rosy, too perfect right now. Uh, there, there, nothing can ever be a hundred percent all the time. So. This is suggesting that I think that you come into your own power, really. You take up that leadership role. You really state what you want. Um, and, and maybe not the excessive part. That's what I'm getting here, is that the excessive part of your behavior even though you're you're feeling on top of it, even though things look on top of it, put a little away for an extra rainy day, or um, you know, uh, remember that that a leader with humility is followed more loyally into the field of battle. Um, things along those lines. Now, what's the conclusion? Oh, we have the Nine of Clubs. All right, Nine of Clubs. And this is what we're going towards. This is a warrior who's come out victorious. He's almost fought his final battle. It is about the expectations of difficulties and changes, anticipation. There are some hidden enemies right now for you, Taurus. Um, you may be, they may be deceiving you. They may have lied to you at this time. Uh, in order to overcome them, discipline, order, and there may be a pause in the current struggle against these deceivers at this time. You thought you were through with all of that, perhaps, and now it's back. It's going to come back. That's all I can say is that unfortunately it is cyclical and this will return. Just be aware of it. Um, if, if you have a way of sidestepping the entire situation, either going out of town, saving up some money, um, delegating authority, particularly against any kind of deception that's going on towards you. Um, like, for example, if you have someone who comes to your store all the time and they keep stealing things and they've gone away for like a year and they haven't stolen anything and they've started coming back but they haven't stolen anything, 
Well, maybe it's a good idea if you assign somebody just to keep an eye on people stealing things so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Or something like that. Really, when it comes to clubs, it's all about the action. It's all about the fire. And this is a nine of clubs. So this is almost as much action as one can get. This is a very busy time for you, Taurus. Um, and actually with the holidays just getting going, probably there's a lot of rushing around, a lot of crowds. Uh, maybe you had a really great summer, you know, and, and a business is looking a little light right now. It's looking a little quiet. Definitely take that time to do something restful and wonderful and pleasurable for yourself um, before the holiday season because the, I, I see a lot of movement. All of these cards, we have the Six of Clubs, we have the Eight of Clubs, we have this Chariot, we have, um, so you know, the Nine of Clubs, we've got uh, a lot of movement going on. So I think uh, that travel is on your horizon. Uh, knowledge is on your horizon and you will be very very busy very very soon uh, this may not please other people it it might lead them to cause some of the deception or whitewashing in your life at this time because they are upset with your plans and they don't see how they themselves fit into it um, so this might be a matter of Using your intellect to to clue in on who around you is going to um, have a hard time with you being very, very busy in your life. And therefore you can kind of um, spend some extra time with them or talk things over with them in advance because this busyness will just pick up more and more and more. Be, there, the word has gotten out about your skills, Taurus, that, that you have mad skills, that you are really um, getting it together that way. And the only concerns I see here are really emotional ones um, with this Five of Cups. This has to do with people who are still in your life um, who, who have been in your life. But what I see is that you're progressing towards something new. And that new thing is, is this person. This, this is somebody who, who is a warrior, who is going to fight with you in the trenches, who is going to back you up, who is like a security guard watching out for you. And that is the right, the right thing to cultivate as a culmination for you right now, Taurus. Okay, so let's have a quick reading from the Fairy Oracle about our total reading so far here. I sincerely hope that this reading has helped and enlightened you a little bit, Taurus, to things going on in any way. It makes me feel so good when people love their readings. Nothing makes me feel better than to have thank yous and likes and stuff, subscriptions and stuff. That's so great. Okay, so here we have The Heart of Fairy Oracle by Brian Froud. Oh, fairy, heart of fairy, what do you need Taurus to know for the month of October 2016? Can you please get a clarifier for the last reading? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. The fairy of youth. Oh, what a beautiful little fairy she is. She is a beautiful fairy. There's lots of useful figures around her in this card. How many can you see? So, 
with the Fairy of Youth. This is our clarifier for the last reading. This is about enthusiasm, limitless ability, and positive expectations. Sometimes it's important to see things through the useful eyes of this fairy. As we grow older, we tend to lose the sense of wonder that we had as children. Children often believe that anything is possible. When our son Toby was a child, he knew that both Brian and I were very good at making things. Costumes, toys, puppet theaters, castles, elaborate birthday cakes. He assumed that we could me make anything, and because of his expectations, we tried harder and found that, indeed, we could make almost anything he could imagine. I know what I know that people reading this will think. Well, of course you can make things. That's what you do. But that's not the point. The point is, we didn't know we could do it until we looked at the situation the way Toby was seeing it. When we looked at it with a sense of wonder and put aside our preconceived ideas and limitations, we found that we could do far more than we thought we could. This applies to everyone. Approach things with youthful enthusiasm and a child's assumption of limitless ability and you may find that you too can do things you never imagined possible. Why limit yourself? So, why limit yourself indeed, indeed. So this could mean, I think this means that uh, cultivating a childlike attitude at this time because um, you've obviously worked very hard you're very skilled. You've got a lot going on. You make a little effort to play, a little effort to lighten up a little bit. You can see things from a different perspective and that will help you at this time. If you have young people in your lives, then definitely make an effort to talk to them, to get down on their level, sit down on the floor with them and just spend some time. Hi, how are you? how's your day kind of stuff. Um, this would indicate that that a little fairy magic, a little inner child work will go a long, long way. So either working with yourself or working with young people who are around you in your environment, either way, you will find that this helps clear things, helps you focus on what is truly important at this time, Taurus, for you. I sincerely hope that this reading has given you some light or guidance and assistance. It has been a pleasure to read for you, and I look forward to reading for you again very, very soon. My name is Dadamkar, and you can reach me at dadamkar23 at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to Universal Navigators Guild if you haven't already. And thank you so much for liking, sharing my videos. I appreciate it. Until next time, namaste, satnam, and many, many blessings. Take care, Taurus, and we'll see you soon.